new arrivals. She looks that is a good dog. Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I am Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrikstotir, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Francia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. That would be blood if any here heard I refused to feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. And you would be welcome. Yet, you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! How one can prefer ale to wine, mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. If it makes me drunk, I'm glad to drink it. Are there no standards anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So you've traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensthorpe. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hofton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toga? Every word I have said is true, but there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king, Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village, but we have our own troubles here, in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry. Not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain Siegfried prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against we Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing.
My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the Mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The Sigfreds you mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if he will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I will be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home game. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. And the Raven Clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find Pierre when you have prepared, and we will make for Frankia at once. Thank you. Toka said to find Pierre when I'm ready to travel to Frankia. Dwarfkist! I hope your head does not ache like mine. What a night. But we should leave for Frankia soon. Pierre. Ready to leave for Francia when you are. I'm ready. Frankia, the land of Charlemagne and the bitter prize of Ragnar, who sacked Paris for a fortune in silver and sorrow. Now a new king rises, uniting Franks against Norse in open battle, and casting angry eyes toward England. I must stop this mad king from sending war across the sea. Already his armies assemble. And crows gather again over Paris. Welcome to Francia! What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us? Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The Mad King did this. We all had a part in it. Gods. This is what he would bring to Ravenstorp. It is. We are almost there. But we cannot take the longship around Paris as the Franks' bridges block the way. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water. And not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. 
Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor, there is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day, but I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Tuka. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? <laughs> Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to lead sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. back after so long. I thought to return with an army. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. You have returned. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. It is where he begins most days. This way. Sinric, my father, lies there, with the others. We should go. There's something calming about this place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. Siegfried. You came, Wolfskist. 
Good. You knew it was me. Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor, as Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. I know of blood debt and vengeance. When the time comes, Secret, you will have my axe. Good. It is as I hoped. Now we will feast. And I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vida, a more noble beast I have never known. The God of Vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eichthirni, who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mods with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so awed, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. Deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well. Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Angolan. This is a good night. Oh shit. This place is heavily guarded. The horses give them advantage, but it will not be enough.
Where did Angwin go? Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded, and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack. I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother, and your father. I'm sorry, Toga. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensthorpe. <sighs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. This battle will not be won with axes. I must find a way to meet Charles. Convince him not to attack England. Remember, Charles murdered Gottfried. He will not honor his word. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toga. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Angelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I will meet Siegfried there and return when Engelwin is dead. Then, we will find Charles. Evor, over here! Yeah. What is this about? We have a shared interest. You in resisting Francia's north loathing loyalists, me in getting paid. Those do not seem connected. I am working with a rogue band of men and women across Francia who tire of the chaos Charles's rule brought. Their numbers are small. Few are foolish enough to resist well-equipped loyalist forces. You do not believe in their cause? I do not, but they do. This is where you come in. Help them, and you will have ample reward for your effort. It is strange that you support them while believing their cause ill-fated. What kind of monster would I be if I were to dash the hope they hold in their hearts? Anyway, there is profit to be made, and only a fool ignores that. What do you want to do? What have you got for me? Good luck, Evor.
We have a mission, Evor, in case you have forgotten. I will stay. The luxury of time is something we do not have, Evor. Best get to it. Need something, friend. What have you got for me today? I must be on my way. Safe travels. If Siegfried has his way, there will not be a single franc left in these hills by winter. He hates them, that is so. Uh, did you see? that soldier's neck. Oh, Dieu, stop this infernal mewling, else I swear I will turn you into soup. Good work. Let me know if you're looking for more to do. I did not take you for a lover of cats. I am not. One of the rebels picked it up during a mission. Nearly cost the fool his life. Animals are true-hearted. That cat will be a loyal companion to the end of its life. I doubt it. Felines are crafty, sly. They follow their own agendas. Much like myself. Once he has had his fill of food and drink, I predict a quiet disappearance. Speaking of disappearances... The Loyalists grow fewer. Our missions are going well. Am I detecting some sentiment? We are making small change, but it is not enough. And it matters not, so long as we make a profit. How can I help? How do the rebels fare?
all for now. So, what will it be? I'll be back later. Well, you know where to find me if you change your mind. I'm off. Be well, friend. I should need a better. Stretch your wings, Sunan. What do you see?
Hello.
How did you find me? Where is Toka? Toka guessed you would be here. She is still at Milan, looking for your missing watch. Uh, I lost Anguin, but this soldier told me he is heading for the church nearby. Come, we can go through the slums. Ah, even from here I can smell the piss of the slums. Siegfried, I mean to stop this fight from coming to England. I must meet with Charles. For what? You cannot bargain with these thralls. Have you forgotten my fallen brother, Sinric? No, and that is why I must try. It is why I came to Frankia. If I kill Engelman, I want you to help me get an audience with the king. There is no reasoning with you, Wolfkist. You are as wild as your namesake. runs the blood of holy kings and conquerors. The northerners may have numbers, but we have God. <sighs> that is Odo, Count of Paris and right-hand man to the king. Drumming up support for his army, no doubt. Our courage and honor will not fail us, no matter how hot the fight. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. Self-important as always. The one next to him is Gosselin, Bishop of Paris and a fearsome warrior. Enough for the Frank. Those two are for another day. You have to get to Anglewin, and to do that, you have to find your way into the church. The answer is down there in that stink. That is not much to go on. If it was easy, I would have killed him myself already. You have an advantage. You are unknown to these. The Raider Siegfried is almost at our gates! And what does he want? What the Northerners always want! Blood and silver! Yours and mine! Me, they know quite well already. Someone down there knows something. All you have to do is get them to tell you. I have your word. Once this is done, we find Charles. As you say, but work fast. I cannot leave Melo unguarded long. This Frankish stench already turns my stomach. Three guards, insulting. I will deal with them. While you find Engelwin, he is hiding in his church. Will you sneak in, convince one of his own to aid you, or cover the streets with blood? As you would? They deserve no less. But you are the wolf kissed. You do not need my advice. So what will you do? I will find my own way.
Are you the owner? Owner? Oh, <laughs> That's such a naively hopeful world. What can I get you? You have a good crowd. If you mean tables of soldiers drowning themselves in wine at my expense, then yes, it's good enough. It might be better if not for that old drunk over there crying about the bishop to everyone who listen. <sighs> I'd send him away, but to be honest, I need his business. I need to find the bishop. <laughs> the bishop? I can tell you he's not in this mud pit, my friend. He wouldn't risk soiling his holy sandals. There is a priest who does the bishop's numbers in here at times. Last I saw, he was talking to a table of soldiers. Thanks for the help. You look the kind that enjoys a good complaint. You'll be back. Wine loosens lips as well as ale. Someone at the tavern might know something that will get me into the church. I could look for the scribe at the plague district. I'll see if someone here knows something more. Taken care of. Well, not me. My cup isn't empty yet. And that bishop makes me uneasy. For a servant of God, he has a terrible temper. What does a bishop and his soldiers want with my daughter? She's a good girl. He never did wrong. She's all I've got. You mentioned the bishop. Oh, he took her. My daughter. She's gone. She's a good girl. Never any trouble. She wouldn't steal anything. Who took your daughter? Was it the bishop? The bishop's soldiers in the slums. Said she stole the bishop's silver. So she has the devil who needs deliverance. What did you say? I will find your daughter here in the slums, and she will help me find Engelman. That is two good leads. I must take my leave. So long. Careful now. Leave me alone! Help! Hold you! Help! Don't just stand there! Help me! 
that was close. You're welcome. Your father told me the bishop took you. My father? Yeah, the bishop's soldiers. I didn't steal nothing neither. Then they wanted to give me deliverance. You stole from the bishop. That was bold. I just said I didn't, didn't I? Well, I didn't take no silver. It was just a little church key. I want that key. So did the soldiers. But you are too late. I sold it to bandits in the sewers. They got it cheap too. My reward for helping you is to fight bandits. You are welcome. Good luck. The sewers stink. I have to get to my father before he is thrown out of the tavern again. This must be the sewers.